all right man welcome back and um today i just wanted to kind of bring a a short word today and it's going to be on the topic of spiritual sickness in comparison to physical sickness and yeah we'll just get straight to it so physical sickness is something that you know we all have experienced at least once in our lives or that we go through many times in our lives and it's something that it can be ailments diseases um just maybe the flu something simple something severe that affects our bodies it torments our bodies it torments our flesh and it's something we feel we feel those symptoms you know in, in our senses right so we feel them and it, it we feel that physical pain that physical suffering sometimes it can lead to death it can just cause a lot of pain and suffering just a lot of problems for us in general and that's something that we're all very familiar with because and something that we can all relate to because it's, it's there in the physical the physical realm you know something that we can uh you can see how it affects people you can't necessarily see the actual disease and the germ and the cells itself unless you use a microscope microscope but you see the effects of the disease and how it affects people sometimes you see the symptoms on people's skin whether it can be bumps or rashes sometimes you see people lose weight you see people get they get pale they just physically they just start deteriorating in front of you and it's really sad to see but those are the effects of the physical sicknesses that you know we combat that we battle against in our in our mortal lives and you know it can it can definitely be a problem and you know the solution to that that we can handle as christians is you know through prayer and you know just putting it into the lord's hands but that's not the the main point of the video i just brought that up to give you guys an example of a contrast as to how spiritual sickness is sometimes it oftentimes really ignored and not really you know paid attention to or realized but spiritual sicknesses are just as real and just as detrimental as the physical ones right and when we speak of spiritual sickness it's not something that can be um very easily diagnosed for most people right for one it takes it takes you having someone in your life who can recognize those symptoms of you being spiritually sick whether it's a pastor or a spiritual leader a mentor you know a father figure someone who's you know well versed in scripture and knows you know has a personal relationship with christ those are you know the people who can often diagnose or see the symptoms of you being spiritually sick but if you're someone who just you know lives in the world apart from god apart from christ it can definitely be um it can definitely be difficult to realize that you're even spiritually sick and you feel the effects of it but you just kind of dumb it down to the the fact that this is just life and these are the, the things that we go through which is true life is meant to be difficult we've it's filled with a lot of difficulties but it's very uh seldom that we or rare that any of us actually realize the heart of that sickness and the fact that the sickness is even there in the first place you know and in order to get to that point we have to you know read scripture we have to know christ and we have to know um the contents of not necessarily our character but of of who we are and of our actions how we act what we do with our with our words with our actions and how we live our lives and we have to sit back and re-examine ourselves and really think you know is my lifestyle the cause of my unhappiness let's call it unhappiness unfulfillment and just depression all those three of those things are directly related to spiritual sickness right and the main thing is that we don't want to let this sickness you know grow and keep growing and keep growing without us realizing that it's there so the point i brought up about reading scripture is in the fact that through scripture you can see how a person who's afflicted by all these symptoms of spiritual sickness which I, which like I just said is depression unfulfillment anxiety just list off any of the neg negative uh, emotions you can think of those are all symptoms of being you know spiritually sick of not having a relationship with Christ not having that guiding light with you in your lives so once we have the ability to have that you know disease diagnosed the spiritual sickness diagnosed it comes to now treating it right first step i would say repentance coming to christ not only knowing the word but now you know making that choice to repent and turn from your wicked ways turn from your evil waves your evil ways and say you know 
now I want to serve the Lord now I want to do what's right with my life and I want to take the right path toward the path towards healing to start full healing because you know asking for forgiveness and still falling back into the old habits is part of the journey but don't get you know discouraged in that journey and don't just accept the fact of the fact of the matter of that you know i'm going to keep making mistakes so i might as well just you know keep making mistakes and not really take that path of healing seriously you know because that's gonna that's the thing that's the thing that's going to be your downfall it's going to be your detriment so the important thing is regardless of you know falling falling is getting back up and having that desire to still get back to christ right and now in terms of the actual sickness itself there's also a lot of indirect causes that we don't think about is what we feed our flesh what we feed our spirit you know spiritual sicknesses can also grow from the fact of not being fed with the correct nutrients and the daily bread of scripture that we christians need in our lives right but if you're not a christian for example and you don't have that daily bread what are you feeding yourself right you're feeding yourself internet nonsense you're feeding yourself dirty things dirty videos on the on tiktok instagram whatever just that all falls under um internet nonsense but you know just things that aren't edifying your spirit that aren't that aren't growing you in christ and when you it's that's junk food you know we could call that i guess you could say spiritual junk food and when you eat spiritual junk food you get spiritually sick you're not getting the, the 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 nutrients the daily bread you need to keep you walking sh strongly walking faithfully with god right and that just leads you to be uh depleted depleted of energy depleted of nutrients and you're susceptible to more the same way you don't get the right nutrients and vitamins you're susceptible to things like you know sicknesses the flu things like that in that same way we need to spiritually in the spiritual sense we need to feed ourselves with the daily bread with the word of god and prayer and meditation that way we become not only physically strong but also spiritually strong to be able to res to resist the the probability of falling victim to these germs and these you know yeah let's call them germs of sick a spiritual sickness that can cling on to us and make us truly truly spiritually sick you know so that's what we need to do and we can't undermine and we can't underestimate these spiritual sicknesses and just dumb it down to you know the struggles of a temporary season because a lot of us are spiritually sick and we don't even know it that's the worst part and in revelation 3 17 i believe it says you say i am rich you know i'm happy but um i don't like paraphrasing scripture i'm gonna put it up but i'll do the best i can but you don't know that you're blind, miserable, and naked. And that's the condition of a lot of us today, you know? Especially people who are living off, living well off, who are um, wealthy, who are prosperous. They completely forget God because everything is going perfectly great for them. And they don't even realize that because they don't have a relationship with Christ, because they don't honor Him with their lives, they're doing, living, spending money, on extravagant things and just doing dirty things with women and things and things of that nature they don't realize that they are spiritually sick they are miserable blind naked and don't even know it and that doesn't even it doesn't even just go for the millionaires who live that kind of lifestyle it goes for everyone who does not have that personal relationship with christ and is not working towards the goal of you know um eternal life and that's um it's it's a shame you know that we don't realize it but a lot of people don't know that as well so it's important to for us to go out there and make it clear to people that spiritual sickness is a real thing and it's something that most of us suffer of and we don't even know it and slowly slowly just like a disease that you wouldn't know is there it's killing you slowly and slowly and slowly every day it's not something that just latches onto you and just like that you die it can go that way too you know because that spiritual sickness can manifest into a physical ailment that can actually take your life god forbid we pray against those things but that's the you know the re the reality of these things again and uh we wrestle not again we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against spiritual wickedness and these because you know satan is the prince of, of the air so 
again demons and all these spirits they're real they exist in the spiritual realm and this is combat daily combat right so yeah that's something we have to also you know take into account always be aware of and always you know be on guard put on put on the full armor of god and just um not try, do our best man not to fall victim to these and really fight you know fight the good fight like i always say and uh yeah take action and you know take action and decide to you know examine ourselves and heal our body so yeah man that's all i got for today and hopefully you were able to be blessed by that you took something from it and yeah it's good to be back on here uh yeah and um god bless i'll see you guys next time peace